is going on everyone? Shiva Sapkuta here with another Tesla review. Today we are reviewing this retractable sunshade that are more OEM looking, they blend in with the interior and as the summer is coming, I got really excited when I saw this product because it's gonna be really helpful. The last one we installed here on the channel was about a year ago and they were not good looking. They stick out a little bit, they look more like a projector screen than a sunshade and I have been looking for an OEM version. So. Autry Fort makes this. This is a brand new launch with the easiest installation of a sunshade that I have seen anywhere. No sticky glue, no nothing, no 3M. This just insert within the bracket. And I'm gonna show you how to do the detail installation guide here in this video. This comes from Autry Fort. It's a Tesla accessory company. We have reviewed a bunch of other products from the same company, including the hidden storage compartments, uh, the floor mats for Tesla Model Y 7-seater. They also carry a lot of other Tesla products. Do check them out. I have a special discount code, Shiva Tesla. Tesla, also linked in the description below so you can save some money. Thank you very much, let's get it started. So it comes in a two piece, this is the rear piece. Uh, it does not have that thing on the back because it's a one large paranormal panel, but for the front one, you got the whole coverage here um, and there is this liner here for all around and it matches Tesla's interior. So the first thing I notice is this matches the headliner there so it's not going to stick out and look like it's an add-on product, should fit seamlessly. They also send you everything that you need on one package. First company to actually send white gloves. <laughs> so then you don't get all of this dirty. You can wear the gloves. They send you a screwdriver, the bracket, the pry tool, and very detailed instructions guide here. There's not much to it, as you will see on the installation. I've read through this installation guide in the past, and uh, it's just a two-piece solution. They give you really nice pictures. They also have a full video on their website giving you directions on how to install this. But you shouldn't need that because I'm gonna show you how to do this today. So first, what we need to do is remove this screw here, and then we need to remove both of these screws. What I'm gonna try to do is, I'm going to remove this partly, and then see if I can just swing this out. So one of this screw, and then let's see if we can remove this one out completely. The second one in the bottom, we do have to remove it completely. Okay, looks like, it might be a little bit tight, so let's just go ahead and remove this all together. So once you remove this, you're also going to remove this bottom piece here. We have this, now we are going to flip this, so this way, and then install both of these screws back on. So let's start with this top one here, and then we are going to install that bottom one. You should probably not wear these gloves while you are doing the screws because these are slippery. Generally don't like gloves, I was just going to wear them, but Maybe at the end when we're putting these headliners in, we'll wear this. Okay, much, much better without the gloves. So we're going to do this on both sides. So this side is done, it is fully secure. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side as well. So same thing, we are going to first remove this from here all together. So remove this top screw, then we're going to remove this bottom screw and then we're going to flip this. So this was facing this way. We're going to make it go this way and then simply install both of these screws here. So make sure this is fully secured. Both of these screws are in. On both sides, we are ready to go ahead and install this thing now. So another thing you gotta keep in mind is there are these brackets here in the front and kind of keep this at a center level like this. Uh, don't pass them out to the, the sides. Um, in the beginning, we wanna keep it at center because if you try to put it on the edge here or on the other edge, it might not fit well and it might cause a damage to your Tesla glass. So leave it in the very middle here and then we're gonna slide it to adjust it. Next, we are going to take this into the car and the side that has this front bracket, this removable bracket, goes in the front of the car and then the side where we flip this bracket go towards the back. This is the front panel. So if you look at it like this, this is how we are going to be putting this in. This removable sliding bracket go towards the front of the car. So this is like, I'm the driver here. So this is how we are going to install. So let's go ahead and do that. But as you see, this moved a little bit. And as I told you just right now, we wanna make sure these are in the center. So let's go ahead and put this inside the car now. So once you are inside the car, face this brackets that we flipped earlier towards the back of the car here. 
and we are going to just align it on this headliner. It just inserts into its place. If you look at it, it just goes in. There's no, no issues here. It just slides in and it aligns it really well and this headliner matches with the existing car's headliner. Now we need to just install the one here in the front. Remember we told you about these brackets earlier to be in the center. Right now, if you let this go, it will just drop because these brackets are in the center and there's a lot of clearance here. What we need to do is we need to now start sliding these brackets towards the left and right so that we can make this stick right here somewhere and then that way this does not fall. That's the whole point of those brackets in the middle. So we can start sliding this and if you need a pry tool, you might need a pry tool to use a pry tool here to expand that area. But basically the whole idea is you are going to slide this black bracket towards the left and right and then insert insert this bracket in the headliner itself. So this this could take you a little bit of time, just be patient and then just continue sliding this bracket towards the left here. Let's start with the left and then we'll move on to our right. So you, this is where if it is being a little bit of stubborn for this back bracket to go in, you can kind of expand the top headliner here with the pry tool, then you should be able to slide this towards the left so that this should move freely. But you might need a pry tool, you might need to insert a pry tool so that you make a little bit of a space here so that the, the top headliners opens up a little bit and then you're able to continuously slide this towards the left here. So again, just keep sliding this towards the left here Pry it open using a pry tool. Just insert the pry tool on the top. Pry open the area so that you are able to push this towards the left here. So it slides and keep doing that all the way up to the left side here. So you need to reach somewhere here for this to fully secure this. Again, just pry it, make some room, slide this thing towards the left, and then we're gonna go towards the right, and then this should stick and hold in place. Again, just go as much as you can, just prying this out and then pushing this towards the left. So there's plenty of space here. Take it as much as you can. It should be somewhere over here towards the end so that it is fully secured. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this right side here. You just have to slide this, put this on the headliner, just freely as much as you can. And then once you cannot do it anymore, that's when you use the pry tool, pry this out, push it towards the right, keep doing that as much as you can, and then push it all the way to the right as much as possible. So now the right side is in, the left side is in, this is fully secure, this is not coming off at all. And yeah, this matches really well. Let's show the functionality here. Super easy process. This is a magnetic, so there is a magnet plate here. And to begin, all we have to do is slide this out. And this just sticks in place. And then this is magnet. There is no cable, no nothing. You just put this out again. You're done. So for the rear one, you gotta do the same thing as the front. We need to remove these two screws here. And then we need to flip this like this install both of the screws on both of sides so that we can install it into the car. Now we gotta do the same thing for this one. Um, we fix the other side. Now we gotta undo these screws and then put the screws in on both of these holes. Flip this, secure it. We gotta insert this clip right here through the liner. This upside down V needs to go inside the back of the liner here. And then this side needs to face this way towards the front of the car. If you had the other side bracket, then it would face this way. That would not make sense. So just make sure that this bracket faces towards the front here, and then you are going to just simply insert this in here. Um, super easy. And then it just slides back. Just slide it back all the way towards somewhere about here, um, where that thing is for the heater, and then just leave it here. You don't have to do anything yet. Just leave it here. We're going to bring the rear sunshade and then I'll show you what to do. Now we are ready to install the rear one. As you can see, the rear one doesn't have 
this side because it is on the panoramic glass. This side where you actually have this headliner goes towards the front and then this open side goes towards the back. So let's go to the car and install this. If you find today's video helpful, all we ask for is please engage with our videos. That means liking, subscribing, commenting. In the comment section, you can put anything. You can put a smiley face. You can put that you like my videos. If you have any feedback, please do that in the comment section. If you don't like something about the video, please let us know in the comment section. Anything you can do to engage with our videos, share our videos, like our videos. We greatly appreciate it because it helps us rank higher in YouTube's algorithm. In return, we will always bring videos like this to the channel and help you make your Tesla ownership a little bit easier. So we're going to install the rear unit. Pro tip, uh, if you're going in from the right side here, that's what we're doing on the right rear side, face it like this way that I have it where the back face is this way and it's the U shape is right here in the middle so that when you're putting this in, it becomes much, much easier inside. So we are going to just bring this in and the process is pretty simple here. We're just going to push this up. So push this up here. And then the goal is we are going to insert that tab inside the headliner in the front and then simply push this in. That's it. There's not much to this. We're just going to line this, push it in on both sides and this is pretty much seated right now. <laughs> the rear one was much easier. Now we just got to align this bracket. So let me show you how to do that next. So we're gonna do the same exact step like the other side here. We're going to push this inside and then there is an opening right here where this just goes in and secures. So look at it, it just secures here in place and that's it, that is all we have to do. This is not going anywhere. Of course you're not gonna pull on it, so not going to go anywhere it's going to hold in place here because of this no glue no nothing it's a pretty secure design so we're going to do a quick test here on the rear one perfect so it covers all the way up to here of course it doesn't go all the way to the back because it's going to block your rear view but it goes to this perfect length here where somebody's going to be sitting right here and it blocks the sun and light so this is pretty cool just easily you can slide it and then see the sky you get tired of seeing the sky pull this and you got blackout so here in the front super easy you just pull this it's magnetic it sticks in place you pull this back there you go super easy So these are the rear seats here and we have got the sun shades installed right now. There is a direct sun coming in. If we were to remove the sun shades, you can clearly see the effect this have. This is all in the direct sun's glare. So if we were to put the sunset back on, you can see the difference here visually of how much this thing protects with the direct sun's glare and light. We're going to demonstrate the same effect that it has here in the front. So if you pay attention to the, the top side of the seats here, we're going to move this back. As you can see, all of that is exposed here to the sun and this is directly blocking it as we're pulling this in. Makes a huge difference. So we're going to do a quick experiment here. So without the sunshade here, if I take my infrared gun and measure the glass here, we're reading 118, 119 degrees here. So directly looking at sunset, even 120 degrees here on the glass. Now, let's put this sunset high to the sun and let's measure the temperature here. We dropped to 102. So that is a significant drop in temperature. So these are doing a really great job at blocking out of those high temperatures. Uh, is it perfect? No, but this is great. I mean, that's a really big difference in the temperature here that we're getting versus the glass versus the honeycomb. And if we leave this on for a little while, it's probably going to even get better um, where this is cooling your interior down. So again, if we open this and we are measuring the temperature of the directly of the glass, we are reading 122.7 here. Let's close this. 102.7. So 
20 degrees difference on the cellular shade here, internal. Now, another test is that they told me that this traps a lot of heat on the upper side and then it does not let the heat get through here. So we're gonna do another measurement here where let's measure this <laughs> is super hot. This thing here, what the temperature is, then we're going to measure the top of this on the, on the inside and then we're going to measure the bottom. So measuring the top of this, 161.7, that's what we're reading. Let's measure the top of this unit here. 135 degrees and then 127 degrees here. So definitely it looks like it does trap, things does get trapped inside here because it is hotter on the inside here than here. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, it is it's not extremely hot. It is hot, but not extremely hot like this one. Like I can't. I can't even test this because that is how hot it is here. Uh, so it does a really great job at shielding you from all that heat on the top. Let's do that same measurement here in the rear. So with the sunshade, we're reading 123 degrees here uh, underneath the sunshade. Let's remove this and let's read the glass. 153 degrees. So people sitting here, especially on the back row, they are feeling the 152 degrees from this glass here, if you're sitting here, versus if we were to pull this in, you're feeling 126. So that's a significant reduction. It's not perfect. Um, I wish it was better, but of course, that's a, that's a pretty amazing number there. All right, after thoroughly installing this and going through all the features that it offers, this is a pretty simple product, but I am amazed by the quality, the functionality, and practicality of this. We have been looking for a sunshade like this for a long time. We tried installing one last year. It was not that good. We even made that comment that it was loose and it just did not look like it fit in the car. But this one, if you look at it here, both the front and the rear, the headliners match. This just feels like it belongs inside the car. The honeycomb pattern kind of makes it very unique. I don't know if I would have gone with a different pattern here, but the honeycomb pattern makes sense because it makes it truly retractable where you can hide this and you won't be able to see it. The rolled version in the past that we installed was very sore, like it, it, you could see it from our site. Uh, this one you can't, it just hides and then it just looks like this is the headliner piece for the car here. You can easily grab this and then pull this in, pull this out. Super, super easy operations here, seamless operations. So I really like the versatility of this, the practicality of this. And another point is how easy it was to install. No 3M adhesive. I have to tell you that the last one that I had installed and I told all of you, I was not sure how that 3M adhesive was gonna go out and it was pain in the butt to remove that 3M adhesive from the glass. I needed a heat tool. I needed to do the goo gun remover. Uh, that was a mess. And when they told me that this does not require a 3M adhesive, I was super excited. And uh, this does not, right? Like it is very, very secure. It does the job. It is super nice and strong and seamless. And it did not require any of that 3M adhesive. The installation took five minutes. If I didn't have to record any of this, I could have probably done it in two minutes, literally, right? Because it's just, putting this in, that's it. You, you, you put it in, you forget about it. And super nice, now I don't have to find a sunshade that I have to remove it, put it in the front, this just stays there. So really nice design, really easy installation. A couple of things about this specific design. As you saw, we did some temperature testing and there's a huge difference between what you read here and the glass is super hot here versus what you read here. So there's a huge difference. I can safely put my hand here and it's not hot. That means all that heat that you would have gotten from directly from the glass, this is blocking it, it is doing its job and we showed it to you using the infrared gun here. The design part makes sense and that's why it is able to do that. The honeycomb shades in general, even in your home, they act as a great barrier here. They trap all that hot air pockets on the top and then it acts as an insulating unit where it doesn't pass through here. Along with the light, the honeycomb shades are really great design. That's what you find on all of your windows around your house and they highly recommend it for that purpose because these are great like the 
be honeycomb, right? Like the light passing ability, the heat trapping ability, so that it, all that heat that is in between this glass and the shades here are trapped by those honeycomb patterns and they are not being released underneath. That is why you get that protection. They also told me that they're using an aluminum piece inside. That means it is even more heat trapping as well as heat reflecting and the light reflecting here so that when you're closing this, I can instantly feel the difference between having that and not having it. So is it's protecting, is it doing a great job? A couple of other benefits that I can think of is not having that direct sun's glare inside your internal components, your seat, they're probably going to help you as the car ages. Our car is five years old. Uh, as it ages, I'm pretty sure this is helping. But that also brings me to my other points is, it is not protecting 360 degrees. As you can see, with both blinds installed here, the sunshade, we still have sun inside the car. And that is because it is coming from the front windshield, the side window. So until you have a solution that covers the entire car, you're still going to have the sun glare coming in. So the cabin overheat protection is probably going to continuously turn on because the cabin of the car is still projected in the front with the windshield. So this is not going to solve 100% of the sun's glare on the issues that we have, but it does a decent job at protecting most of the sun's glare coming in directly from the top down. A few things to note is that since the system does not use any 3M adhesive or it's non-invasive installation, unlike the past ones, this is not a perfect fit. You will be able to see some light come through and I wanted you to be aware of that. All the marketing material and everything will show that this is probably a snug fit or they don't talk about that, but just do understand that the light is going to pass through just a little bit, no matter how good you are with the installation. We tried our best and you still see that. The benefit is amazing and I would highly, highly recommend this is still, and we're gonna keep this on our Model 3s unlike other products that we remove after the installation because this is practical and useful. But just understand that this is not a perfect system. So when you are sliding the, the uh, sunset, it might move just a little bit. So it is tight here now, you can't see it, but it made a opening somewhere else into the system. So it might slide just a little bit. Just be aware of that. I wanted to be very, very upfront about that. Overall, this is a great design and a really practical product. I am glad they were able to figure out the retractable mechanism here so that this becomes super easy to control. It seamlessly fits within the interior of our Tesla. It matches the color and everything with the headliner. So this feels like this belongs inside the car. Is it for a fact? Absolutely not. As I said in the past about any of the accessories, it does not solve all the problems, but it does a really great job at protecting you from sun's direct glare, as well as the light at nighttime, especially if you're driving. It does an amazing job, and the temperature difference between the glass that you see here versus this is remarkable. You're talking about more than 20 degrees difference between the two, so it cools your car's interior down. It is not going to cool 100% because there's still sun coming in from other areas, but very effective system. I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to check this product out, I have a link down below along with a special discount code, Shiva Tesla. If you put that during checkout, you should be able to save some money. Thank you very much for your continued support to the channel. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel because it greatly helps us grow and bring more and more products like this in the future. Engage with our videos if you wouldn't mind, like liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, anything that you can do to help us grow so we can rank higher in YouTube's algorithm. In return, we will always bring you the latest and greatest awesome Tesla accessories in this channel. We'll be back soon.